Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name's Sophie. I'm representing SB Reselling Co. Um, if you haven't already, then please subscribe to the channel and please like the video. So today, I thought I'd just jump on and do a quick video just to talk very quickly about Vinted. So Vinted have changed their terms and conditions. You may have noticed you had an email through today just outlining some of the terms and conditions if you do use Vinted. Um, I'm just going to go through a couple of um, the changes with the terms and conditions and also whether you think this could be the end for resellers using Vinted. The first change is there's going to be no more swap and exchange feature. So I never used this before, um, but basically if you've got an item on and you want to swap it or exchange it for another item, you're not going to be able to do that from now on. It does also state in the terms and conditions that professional sellers are not allowed to use the site. So, I mean, there's nothing to stop you using the site if you are a professional seller, but you just need to be kind of quiet about it, really. Um, KYC, which stands for Know Your Customer Checks, um, that's going to be changing as well. And I think um, there's going to probably be a little bit more jumps, hoops, sorry, to jump through. Um, when it comes to payment and processing and withdrawal. Um, there's also going to be automated solutions to block and restrict items. I kind of thought it already was quite automated, to be honest. Um, but it sounds like, and also that's not just to block and restrict items, that is also to block and restrict people. So I personally take that, that Vinted know that there's a lot of resellers on the site. It's in their terms and conditions. They don't want professional sellers on there. They want to keep it, you know, a bit of a car boot vibe to it, really. Um, and they don't want people making money, <laughs> basically. So um, it sounds to me like they're cracking down more on resellers and people like that using the site. Which is a shame because I think, um, you know, a, a lot of resellers do do sell on there. So they're going to lose quite a big customer base, really. And finally, there's also a new bump pricing system. Now, when you use Vinted, you can either um, spotlight your wardrobe. I think it costs £6.95 to do it for a week. So basically, when people are um, scrolling down their home screen, your shop will come up. Um, and also if you bump individual items, you can bump an in individual item up for three days. I've just done it with a Xbox 360 console that I'm selling. It cost me uh, 95p to bump it to the top of my list for three days. So when people come to my page, that's the first item that they see. Now it's changing according to the price of the item being bumped. So basically if you've got an um, expensive item on there that you're trying to sell, there's not going to be a flat fee anymore. So you're not going to pay 95p for three days. You're not going to pay 6 95 to spotlight your wardrobe for a week. Um, it's going to depend on what you're selling is how much you're going to pay to bump it. So that's kind of rubbish too, really. <laughs> so yeah, it seems like there's going to be quite a few changes coming in. Um, so I think definitely if you're already on Vinted, like I am, I'm certainly going to be lowering my profile a little bit I think that's one thing to do um and also just bear in mind the bumping as well like how much do you actually want to spend getting your listing to the top um I think they're just trying to make start and to find ways to make more money out of people advertising on there essentially so yeah that's the main changes in the terms and conditions let me know what you think in the comments below are you still going to use vinted are you not going to use vinted are you just going to lower your profile and see how it goes um yeah just let me know in the comments and um look forward to chatting with you see you soon